Hey guys, hugely popular on social media at the moment is none other than the Pilia Moon Valley. Hey. otherwise known as the Pilia mollis or the friendship plant. There is no foliage with a more interesting texture than this plant. The Pilia moon valley is native to Central and South America. Its nickname hails from the crevices and valleys found on the moon. This plant is truly a pleasure to look at. These plants don't really get larger than a foot tall, but they definitely deliver a big punch when it comes to the textured foliage. Unlike the other pilia I have in my collection with those nice succulent round looking leaves, it's kind of hard to believe that this plant is also a part of the Pilia family. Regardless, if you can get your hands on one of these beautiful plants, I highly recommend it. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all of the crucial care tips that you need to know in terms of watering, lighting, fertilization, soil, and propagation. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. Generally speaking, these plants are pretty easy to care for. That being said, there are a few considerations when it comes to Pilia Moon Valley Care, so be sure to listen up for those. Starting with lighting, you need to provide these plants with bright indirect light or a medium intensity light. One really important tip when it comes to the Moon Valley is that these plants really do need to avoid any harsh direct sunlight because that can ultimately burn the foliage. So something to uh, pay attention to and something that these plants really shouldn't be sitting in um, bright direct sunlight. In terms of watering uh, your Pilia Moon Valley, as soon as the topsoil is dry to the touch, that's a great indication uh, that it's time to water these plants. Now, you don't want the top inch or um, these plants to really dry out too much. They do prefer um, sort of evenly moist um, soil. So as, as soon as that top surface layer of um, soil is dry to the touch, that's a great time to water your pilia. Now, depending on the quality and the amount of bright indirect light that your pilia moon valley is getting, you may be wanting to kind of keep an eye on this and water it in and around twice a week. Another really important tip or consideration when it comes to caring for this plant is humidity. They do like higher humidity and that means making sure that you're keeping the environment at a 50% humidity level or higher. Pick up a humidifier or a hygrometer or both to ensure that this plant is getting the humidity that it needs. Some other important considerations when caring for a Pilia Moon Valley is to use a peat-based soil mix when you're potting these up. That will really help uh, keep your plant super happy. Now you can definitely fertilize these plants. Just be sure to use a well-balanced liquid fertilizer and you can dilute that to about 50% strength. Now if you haven't got the light just right for these plants and because they are on the smaller side, they do have a tendency to get a little bit leggy, so something you can do um, to sort of offset that or manage that is you can prune them back or pinch them back, and that will help keep them even sort of more compact and bushier looking. If you're interested in more content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up 
or hit that subscribe button. And if you really want to show me some love, you can click on the alert or the bell and that way you will be alerted and uh, provided notifications for new content. Now, if you do decide to pinch back or take um, to prune this plant, you can use the cuttings to propagate um, and create a brand new plant, which is quite easy to do with the Pilia Moon Valley. Take your cutting, you're gonna wanna place that in a really small container with some peat moss and maybe some vermiculite um, to help retain some moisture. Make sure the soil is nice and evenly moist. And you're gonna to wanna to place uh, your cutting in your new container in a really sort of sunny spot that's getting no direct sunlight, that's got tons of bright indirect light. And the other really important thing to consider for your cutting will be the humidity. Make sure that it's getting um, a really good amount of humidity, like buddy buddy right next to the humidifier. Some folks even will um, kind of enclose the cutting in some sort of clear plastic or some sort of container to really make sure that it's getting the humidity that it needs. And it's really as simple as that. In about a month's time, you should have a brand new mini Pilia Moon Valley. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button. Missed you guys already. Until the next one.